Good evening and welcome to Live Flood Online and Neogenesis Systems webinar this evening. We thank you for joining us and giving us your time. We hope you, we can make it very interesting for you. Um, we'll be covering the most important ways that live blood analysis can help you and your clients this evening, as well as answering your questions. So please put your questions in the question panel in your GoToWebinar control panel, which you should see on your screen. There should be a box there for questions. Um, so we will be covering other issues in later webinars, such as the efficacy and legitimacy of live blood analysis, setting up costs, microscopes, frequently asked questions, and the history of live blood analysis, as well as pleomorphi pleomorphism, etc. So we'll keep you posted with uh, any future webinars as well. So um, is everyone okay with that? If you are, please put okay in the question panel so that we know you're connected. If you could put your name in there and where you're attending from, that would be great as well. So um, just put OK in your question box, please, so we know that you're all connected. Thank you. Thank you. OK, so you're ready to hear all the benefits of live and dry blood analysis. Let's get started. So. Just a brief introduction. Uh, my name is Elizabeth Clemens. Some of you may know me from Live Blood London, where I've been practicing live blood analysis, or from Live Blood Online, where we hold regular training courses in live blood analysis for students from all around the world. And we're joined by Dr. Oka Botha of Neogenesis Systems, who is our tutor at Live Blood London. At Live Blood Online. Dr. Oka has been practicing and teaching live blood analysis for the last 14 years to students from around the world. Good evening, Dr. Oka. Hi, good evening. Hi. We'll be asking you lots of questions soon. So you Fantastic. Can, yeah, you can find out more about us by going to our website, Live Blood Online uh, dot com. And also, if you have any questions, um, send us um, an email at info at livebloodlondon.com. Sorry, livebloodonline.com as well. So let's get started and look at the essential ways that live blood analysis can help you and your clients. Number one, live blood analysis helps to confirm and better detect imbalances and causes of health issues. Number two, live blood analysis helps you decide the best course of treatment. And number three, with live blood analysis, you are able to monitor the results of any given treatment. And number four, live blood analysis gives you a very unique and powerful edge. And number five, live blood analysis can show you issues not yet manifested with symptoms. So we'll go through all those a little bit um, now. So first of all, number one, live blood analysis helps to confirm and better detect imbalances and causes of health issues. Live blood analysis is a technique used by many natural health practitioners to assess the health of their clients and to identify a number of underlying imbalances that may be contributing to the health, client's state of health. In live blood analysis, I'm going to refer to it as LBA uh, for the rest of the webinar, we collect the blood from the client's finger and look at it immediately under a microscope while the client is there. So because the blood is still alive, we're able to see the cells behave exactly as they do in the body. Nothing is added to the blood, so we can assess the arrangement, the shape, the size, and the overall health of the blood cells and look for indications of imbalances in the body. Now, most people know that blood is extremely important. It's been called the river of life because it supplies oxygen and vital nutrients to all the cells and also removes wastes from the cells. So it stands to reason that if the blood is unhealthy, that the cells will be unhealthy. And then also, if we can improve the condition of the blood, then the overall state of health of a person would, would improve as well. So this is exactly what live blood analysis allows us to do. 
we can identify the most important issues that need to be addressed to improve a client's state of health. So, life as analysis just makes your job as a practitioner so much easier because it can identify the most important imbalances with visual confirmation, backup and support. So this helps you in confirming, clarifying, supporting and backing up your diagnosis. It also helps you choose the best treatment options for the underlying imbalance, which brings us on to number two, benefit number two. Live blood analysis helps you decide the best course of treatment. LBA gives a much clearer picture of health and of the possible imbalances that are causing the health issues. Seeing so much more of the picture results in the ability to choose more effective treatments for your clients. And which brings us on to number three, with live blood analysis, you're able to monitor the results of any given treatment, which is a huge advantage. With LBA, we can monitor and track the person's progress during the treatment. So by assessing the changes taking place after implementing the specific treatment protocols, we can establish whether a specific protocol is actually working or not and make the necessary adjustments at a much earlier stage than what would have been possible without the blood analysis view. In the natural field of health, there are so many different products available, so many diets, so many opinions and protocols. It can be quite a challenge to work out exactly what needs to be done for each client that you see in practice. So people do end up often going from practitioner to practitioner and getting various diagnoses. They can have candida, they can have parasites or viruses or this or that deficiency. And often they have no real way of knowing if the treatment they took had any effect on the condition. Well, this is not so with live blood analysis um, because it makes your job as a practitioner so much easier. It identifies the most important imbalances and allows you to check if the treatment is working. So, benefit number four, LBA gives you a very unique and powerful edge to offer to your clients. Nothing is as effective as looking at your own blood cells on a screen in front of you with a certified practitioner pointing out what to look for. It's a very powerful experience visually and results in very impressed and satisfied clients. It also promotes client participation, making them want to return for the experience and to visually monitor their blood picture. And one of the most important benefits of live blood analysis is the impact it has on the client. People are fascinated to see their blood cells and can't wait to tell everyone about the experience. It also has a great impact on younger minds and can give them a really different perspective about their health. Conventional laboratory tests don't have such a dramatic impact. We often see clients who had a lab test done that showed some abnormality like maybe raised cholesterol levels. Often the clients don't really take it seriously enough and they say, oh, my doctor thinks this is a problem. Now, those same clients react very differently when they see what their blood looks like on a screen. It's often the wake-up call they need to start working on their health. The visual impact it has goes a long way towards helping your clients stay compliant during the treatment and also to come back for their follow-up visits because they want to see for themselves that their blood is looking better. So as well as the visual impact of, of LBA, inspiring clients to want to return regularly, they will also be sending you lots of referrals for the experience. And benefit number five, LBA can show you issues not yet manifested with symptoms. LBA can show the potential for, for specific conditions that may develop in the future. And we'll be going to ask Dr. Ocker to, um, to talk a little bit more about this. But by addressing these imbalances at an early stage, while they can still be corrected fairly easily by dietary and lifestyle changes, we can prevent these conditions from developing. So wouldn't you, I wonder if you would mind elaborating on that, please, Dr. Ocker. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's, it's um, becoming more and more confirmed by um, research that um, the majority of chronic uh, diseases are in fact caused by 
diet and lifestyle, if we look at conditions like diabetes, uh, heart disease, um, obesity, um, range of hormonal conditions, um, even conditions such as cancer, autoimmune conditions, um, it's becoming clearer that these are actually very much related to um, you know what people do in terms of diet and lifestyle over time. Um, with, with live blood analysis we are actually able to uh, point out imbalances that are um, going to predispose someone to the development of some serious disease in the future. It's not, um, it's very important to say that it isn't meant as a medical test, we're not doing a, or making a medical diagnosis, um, but it can certainly help guide people um, to take the necessary steps to enable them to, um, you know, make the changes they need to make um, in terms of, of um, improving their health in the long term and preventing the onset of, um, of conditions. Good, thank you very much for that. So um, let's just recap. So live blood analysis helps to confirm and better detect imbalances and causes of health issues. It helps you decide the best course of treatment. With LBA you are able to monitor the results of any given treatment. It gives you a very unique and powerful edge and can show issues not yet manifested with symptoms. And this is how live blood analysis can help you. It can help you identify the most important issues that need to be addressed to improve a client's state of health. It helps you to choose the best treatment, helps you monitor and track the client's progress during treatment, gives you a unique and fascinating edge and helps you and your clients in the prevention of disease. Now how it helps your clients is there is the impact that uh, LBA has on clients. It's often the wake-up call they need to start working on their health. It's also a very useful tool in prevention, so very valuable for people who want to be proactive about their health. So, um, if you do have any questions, please send them to info at liveblood.online.com and also if you want some more information about our training courses or what we do, please visit us at www.livebloodonline.com. So that brings us to the end of the presentation and um, we have a few questions here. So um, Dr. Oke, are you ready to answer a few questions for us please? Yeah, sure, of course. Okay. Um, first of all, do you do a live blood analysis test on every client who comes to see you? Yes, yes I do. I, you know, I really can't imagine not using live blood analysis because it helps to guide me so much in practice. Um, there, there really is no other test that can compare with live blood analysis in its ability to detect the most important health challenges any particular client has, as well as being able to monitor how the condition improves with the appropriate treatment. Conditions that used to present quite a challenge before have become so easy to deal with um, because I can see exactly where the focus of the imbalance is. Instead of relying on, on symptoms, um, you know, what we could probably refer to as crude laboratory tests and a bit of luck, um, before using live blood analysis, I often found myself second guessing my decisions in terms of treatment, you know, wondering if there was something in the case I may have overlooked. But with live blood analysis, because we are scanning the sample for visible anomalies, um, instead of choosing what specific test uh, to do on a form, there's very little risk of not finding the most relevant abnormalities. I've seen it work so many times, so consistently, and I've seen it help people who have had, you know, tried nearly every other test. Um, that I feel that if I don't do it on every client, that I'm likely to miss the boat with them completely. All right, thank you very much for that. Um, we have a message, um, a question here from Clive. Um, it's actually, uh, what he's asking is what it actually involves and what clinical research there is. Uh, these are two things that we will be actually covering in uh, further webinars. They are actually webinars on their own, the actual process of live blood analysis and um, the clinical research 
that, uh, that is a um, that has been done on it or is available on it. Um, so I don't know if you want to answer that briefly, Dr. Uh, Oka. He's saying what exactly uh, does it involve and what clinical research is there? Right, in terms of what it involves is basically a um, it's a visual analysis con uh, conducted on a blood sample. The live blood part of the test involves looking at um, a live blood sample under fairly high magnification um, in two uh, types of, of um, applications in microscopy. The one is bright field and the other type is dark field microscopy. And we can see different things showing up in either one of those. Um, and then the dry blood, we actually look at the uh, another sample that's been allowed to dry um, and we look at the pattern of, of coagulation. Um, basically. Um, in essence, it's a nutritional test, so we can see nutritional imbalances and uh, other imbalances that can be addressed with changes in diet and lifestyle and specific natural um, treatment interventions. You know, for for um, people that are planning to use it as a medical tool, they, they will be disappointed by it because we can't diagnose uh, medical diseases very accurately with blood with blood analysis. Um, the type of things that we are able to diagnose with live blood analysis are in fact um, conditions that are understood in natural medicine um, and not really accepted in conventional medicine yet, um, which is also probably the main reason why um, there's a, a bit of non-acceptance of, of live blood analysis from the conventional medical field. Um, you know, we, we're using a device here um, that can actually detect conditions that they, uh, um, in conventional medicine, do not recognize as, um, you know, being real conditions. Like, for example, uh, cand candida, um, the need for detoxification, um, you know, heavy metal toxicity, all those types of conditions, oxidative stress and so on. Um, so here we have a tool that can actually um, accurately detect those conditions, so you know it, it is going to be a problem um, <laughs> in conventional medicine to have that that uh, accepted. Also, in terms of of clinical studies, um, it's very difficult to uh, put together a clinical study um, to compare live blood analysis because many of the conditions um, that we are able to detect with live blood. Um, you know, there really is no other comparable test um, that we can use to mm -hmm. confirm the the um, the condition. So that's that's um, been one of the main reasons why there's a, a small amount of research on blood analysis, clinical type of research or scientific studies. Um, there is, of course, a, a, a large part of blood analysis that is. Um, based just purely on normal standard hematology. Um, so, you know, that information really, there's, there's no real need for that to, to undergo any clinical studies because that has already been done, um, you know, when they developed standard hematology. Um, but in terms of, of the blood um, analysis anomalies that we refer to in, uh, you know, in natural medicine and nutrition, um, there are some small studies that were done on that and that we can definitely uh, go through in, in another webinar. Okay, and um, a, a question here from Lois. Why do some doctors think it is not legitimate? Again, we'll cover that in another uh, webinar because that's a whole webinar on, on its own, isn't it? Mm, absolutely, um, and I think what I, what I mentioned earlier, sorry, is, is, is probably quite relevant to that as well. Uh, we have a, a question here from Lynn. Um, how much does it cost to train and set up? Um, well, I actually will send you that information, Lynn. I've got your email address. Um, I'll send that information to you. We do actually send out that information in um, pounds and also in uh, US dollars um, for all the equipment that you need. So I'll be sending that out to you. And we have another question here, which I think you've just about answered as well. Um, how close is live blood analysis to traditional hematology? All right, that's actually a very interesting one, you know, because as I said earlier, there is a fair degree of information in live blood analysis that's purely based on conventional hematology. 
Um, so in terms of the specific anomalies um, that we also see and recognize in conventional hematology, the interpretation would be very, very similar. Um, so from that uh, perspective, it's, it's very similar to conventional hematology, but there's also um, some very fundamental differences. The fact that we're looking at live blood um, makes quite a huge difference. Um, in conventional hematology, you know, the blood is drawn from a vein, it's placed into a test tube, there's a, an anticoagulant added to the test tube, um, the, the blood is sent off um, to a, a laboratory where a um, different um, technician will actually look at the blood under a microscope, but before analyzing the blood, they, they stain the sample and, and basically kill the blood cells to preserve it. Um, you know, so you could actually say that the conventional hematological, um, what they call a blood smear, is a lot more cruder um, type of analysis. It's done under fairly low magnification. The um, a lot of the anomalies that we um, view as as being significant in live blood um, are. Um, mainly discarded or, or disregarded in, in conventional hematology um, because they're seen as, as part of the staining process. Um, whereas in live blood, you know, the blood is collected from the finger, um, placed immediately on a, on a slide and viewed basically straight away under a microscope under fairly high magnification. Um, absolutely nothing is added to the blood. The blood is uh, seen like it is in the body, um, and we can basically, um, you know, if, if, if any anomalies are detected, they, they're there because that's what the condition of the blood is like, not because of anything that was added to the blood. Um, and then there's also the, the work of um, people like Gunter Enderlein, who did the um, work on pleomorphism. Um, there's been a lot of work done on um, what we see in the blood and how it relates to nutrition and the uh, state of the biological terrain, things like acidosis and oxidation. Um, and all of that is not found in conventional hematology, and that's where live blood analysis becomes a really powerful tool in nutrition and natural health, um, in that we're able to really guide people then in terms of uh, taking uh, steps that will really improve their health in the long term. Absolutely. Um, okay, um, we've got a couple more questions here. Um, where can we find out more about the course? Well, um, that information, if you email us at www.lifebloodonline.com, we'll send you out an information pack, and you can get more information at the website as well. Um, and what qualifications are needed to practice live blood analysis? Dr. Ocker, if you wouldn't mind answering that. Well, you know, there are no formal regulations about live blood analysis, so in essence anyone can add it to their practice. Um, it's important to say you know, that it's a tool used in a natural health setting, so it really is ideal for practitioners involved in natural health, nutritionists, uh, personal fitness trainers and so on. And it's used to detect imbalances that can be corrected through nutrition and natural products and interventions. So the um, more knowledge the practitioner has of nutrition and health, uh, the more they'll, they and their clients will be able to benefit from, from live blood analysis. Okay, thank you very much. Well, we seem to have come to the end of the questions. We don't seem to have any more. Um, so... No, that seems to be the end. So that really will uh, bring us to the end of this short webinar. We will be holding more regular webinars on other subjects, um, and we'll keep you informed of that. Um, do you have anything else to add, Dr. Ocker? No, I think that's fine. We'll cover a lot of the other um, important questions in separate webinars um, to you know, do justice to the information that we actually need to present. Okay, and just to let you know that we do um, 
hold regular online training courses. Um, so do email us if you want any information on that. And please send in your questions. We're happy to answer all of your questions. Um, thank you very much for joining us, and we look forward to joining you again sometime in the near future. Thank you very much, and good evening from me, and thank you very much from Dr. Ocker. Great. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, Dr. Ocker. Goodbye for now. Thank you. Bye-bye.